didn't get either. I got a flat. Oh, come on. Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is hell? Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's Sunday night, and we've been invited by First New Jersey and the Fifth Corps to see their Sunday night event. So this should be a great time. You can see where we are. This is the Dunker Church. Let's take a look at who's fighting. All right, so this is First New Jersey, Fifth Corps, Second Corps skirmish. So we got some Second Corps guys here too. Excellent. So 32nd Ohio, welcome back to the channel. Seen these boys before. First Delaware as well. 20th New York. Now this is the Second Corps version of 20th New York. Uh, there's Cheesy right there. We know that name. Um, and I wanted to say these guys were... Mm, IVB. I don't know. Maybe Irish. I don't know. I got confused because I had some other Irish companies that were close to that. Uh, and then, of course, Fifth Corps. We got First Mass, First New Jersey. We've seen these guys before on the channel. Lots of them. Uh, second Lieutenant... Pronounce O Coffee. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Doesn't look that way when you when you look at it, but that's what he says it is. Irish volunteers, yeah, I think so too. Irish volunteer battery, maybe. I'm not sure what the B stands for. Brigade, Irish volunteer brigade, maybe. I think that's correct. Okay, it looks like we've started already. Uh, 20th New York on the Confederate side here. And let's see who's running these guys. Captain Strat. Awesome. 32nd Ohio. You see him going to the left. So we'll do a quick history lesson, although this thing has already started. Uh, we're at the Dunker Church. This is the middle of the battlefield. The uh, visitor center sits about right in this area nowadays. Uh, but this battle takes place late in the morning on the 17th and... Uh, Green's men had come out of the East Woods and kind of gone south a little bit. Um, we, we have no time for history lessons. The North is already attacking this side. And they're just coming straight in for the charge. This is First New Jersey. And you see the guys from Ohio running away. A few of them lost their lives there. First New Jersey already on the aggression. And a lot of the uh, Confederates running into the West Woods here. All right. Oh, Brigadier General Murray is here. Nice. Captain Mahalley. All right, you hear they're uh, just trying to hold that position. Looks like we've got another American company coming this way. Or oh, they're on the guns. I appreciate you Googling that for me. <laughs> All right, so first mass, bringing their guns up. It's a dangerous position to be in, but we saw the uh, we saw the 8th Alabama use this to great effect the other day. All right, so we got some Confederates running across the field. They don't see these guns. This is your first Delaware. And the Union artillery already hitting bodies up here near the church. Somebody's already down. Probably a commanding officer of some kind. And we also have the uh, Irish Volunteers battery here. Never mind, those are friendlies, aren't they? Corporal Fogg. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're not friendly nice. on the hill. Oh man, the Americans. First, New Jersey already being super aggressive. I just need to stay with these guys for a while. Pushing into the woods, the Confederates are completely gone at this point. This is pretty much the whole Union Army. Left side of the tree. So they're going in blind. Everybody be quiet. Yeah, it is a big line. The whole damn army. They're charging in, but they're charging in blind. They don't really have a target. <laughs> Looks like they're going back to spawn, at least as far back as they can get. So 
They've made it to the road, crossing it. Right here, right here, right here. So it looks like they want to swing around the back of the church. See, they're just American units scattered all over this field. Melee mode, guys, melee mode. Company, dead fucking died. Double quick. Flag bear, get over here. Whoever you are, get over here and get behind the line. Stay, keep, bring up the rear. Quick, on me, dead quiet. You heard the man. <clears throat> God save the king. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> so first New Jersey showing off some discipline here. Make the UEC proud. On the group, come on. Up here, up here. Move, move, move. I'm hunting rabbits. Moving, moving, moving. And there is a line out there. Just depends on when Menhali's going to find them. Spread, 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 spread. He wanted to get in behind the church. He's done it. All right, bullets are coming this way, so they see him. And here they are. Mahali in the first New Jersey. First mass completely sneaking up on the Rebels. 20th New York, 2nd Corps, caught by surprise behind the Dunker Church. And it's going to be bloody. All right, we got a counterattack here. Irish Volunteers coming in. And they're doing it. 30, 32nd Ohio here with them. Cabin Sevy making it happen. We got fighting inside the Dunker Church. Got a Union guy trying to reload, getting stabbed to death. Oh, boys, enemies on the nipple. They call it the nipple, I call it the knuckle. But he's right, there's enemies there. First mass. First mass in mass. Hey, I'm kidding. Gentlemen, I'm You can be glad when the war is over. That they have a full regiment behind the church right now. Yeah. The church. That's normally what's waiting. Full the church. Behind the church. Yeah. 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 You see the general, General Murray, going straight up to check it out for himself. I don't know if it's a whole regiment, but it's definitely a few guys back here. You see Murray just doing it with the pistol. That's three. Oh, he got three before he got killed. Private White, 32nd Ohio. I'll write your mama, boy. Reload and hold. Reload that was a good counterattack. All right, so the Union close to the point of contention, but they're not on it. Got a couple guys from the artillery coming up this way. Private Nut. So you see the Union with the big gun here. Stay up point, boys. Stay up point. Oh, and a heavy fire coming in from the Confederates. Not sure why they're not pointing the gun into the woods, but get him a medal. That's right. 30th Virginia boys remain. And the General's back with his pistol, getting beat down with a Q-tip. Oh, my God. <laughs> Private Nico. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. All right. So 32nd Ohio. And the Irish volunteers back here behind the barn or behind the church. And wondering if the Union's going to do the same thing they did before. I don't see them back yet. Guess they're just right here. Yeah, there's Murray's back. Looking for revenge on that Q-tip wielding bastard. 
Q-tip duels would be hilarious. Oh my god. This poor general. <laughs> Shot dead trying to enter the church. Yeah, shoot, they got our cannons. Yeah, they do. And they're pointing them at the church. Going for the cannon on the right. Okay, guys. Good shot. There's two more coming. There's Private Nico with his Q-tip. He's got two guns aiming at him. See if General Murray will get some revenge here. I know, j -Man. I know. Please don't worry about it. See, we got a couple Confederates out here in the woods causing some problems. Sergeant Major Grandpa, Major Scout. Who's, is that, do you guys all think you're that melee guy? So, a few Confederates here. They're watching us. <clears throat> but no major offensive as of yet. And, okay, there's a big counter push. Okay, I missed it. It's on the left-hand side. So, over here, we've got the Irish. And we got 1st New Jersey over here as well. In mass, as they like to be. I didn't even see them get over here. But they're turned the other way. So it looks like they've got people on both sides of them, but the bigger group might be behind them. All right, the Rebels to their front. Also Irish, but they're running the other way. I wonder if they know that the Confederates are behind them. They know now. Here they come. Second Corps Irish coming in strong, hitting the jersey on their flank. But this time the jersey holding their own and then making a charge at the fence. Coming out of the woods. At least a couple of them. A lot of confusion in those woods. As you can see, we still have a sizable amount of Confederates over here under the first Delaware. That's a friendly flag. Should we get it? Yeah, we're getting it. Let's go. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. So they were able to get their flag. On right. Union still out here in the trees. Company right face. Shift to right. Right face. Right. 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 And you hear the rebel yell, both sides now engaged. Captain Mihai bringing the guys out. All right, you know the drill. One man per post, boys. Spread it out, guys. Spread it out. This become a habit. One man per post. Spread out it. Spread out it. So the Union's in front of the church and now on the side as well. And it looks like a lot more of them flooding into the fence line here. First mass. So the Union very aggressive in this match so far, but the Confederacy is holding their own when it comes to hand to hand combat. Fire. Yeah, Hardy, thanks for being here. It seems to work, period. I think that's a, a good strategy when you're on a fence. Yeah, I'd agree. Harder to hit, more spread out, for sure. And when you're fighting along a fence like that, I mean, you're pr primarily in a skirmishing mode, you know, realistically. Nice fire. Check one up. They really want to get that cannon cleaned and Check. ready, so beware. Hold fire, boys. Hold fire. Check. Hey, Papa, Check. there's two flags in those trees. So the U Union holding their own, but they're, um, they're not really Where attacking the point of contention yet. 29 minutes oh, left to go. And I apologize, I can only get one of these battles tonight. 
guys. It's becoming a normal Sunday thing. They always schedule me a early morning meeting on Mondays, so got to get my beauty rest. Plus, the family just got back from uh, from Tennessee. All right, so now the Confederacy is taking losses. Union really showing their muscle, but here come the Confederates. 69th New York coming out of the woods, straight into the first New Jersey, giving them hell. But there's still Jersey back there. Get cubby, Sit down, bitch. And Blue Belly's going down. Oh, LaFout going down last. I hear a captain yeah. unloading his pistol. I can't. Oh, well, they've, they've got a line here. First New Jersey fell back to the fence. Captain Mihai, smart move here. Backing up, getting a flank on the Confederates. Oh, flagman going down. Shoot to the right oblique as well, boys. Front and right oblique. Every fence post, get the flag pump. Every fence post, boys. Just a... One man Just keep flag post. These battles definitely feel a little bit more chaotic than what I'm used to, but I, it's probably just because I'm not used to the units yet. I can't just, you know, because I've fought so long with the UEC, I can tell, I can tell who's who almost just by seeing their movements. But I'll catch up to these guys as well. They're doing a great job here. Union holding down all points of the field, except for the point of contention, which they don't seem too worried about at this point. Now oh, we got a Rambo back here. And New Jersey. Acceptable casualties. Oh, wow. you die, you die. Accidentally killed their own man. <laughs> right, right over there. Right over there. All right, there you go. You got a large force coming out of the woods, doing a little peekaboo maneuver there. And we got Confederates back at the Dunker Church as well. And a large line of them back here. What are these guys doing? Looks like they're all playing peekaboo right now. Coming out, getting a shot, and then disappearing back into the woods. And they seem to be flooding in. All right, so the Union First New Jersey taking over that left side. Captain Mihai going right back to his previous position. Holding the left flank of the Union Army. And we got a Rambo coming into the house here. Probably not a good place to be if you're Union. God save the king! Oh, you ain't got him now. Here's Murray. Coming in like a madman with a pistol. That's how you do it, Sharp. Let's go. <laughs> Looking like a scene out of Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> that was funny. He finally got his revenge. He, he tried that three or four times already. Looked good doing it that time. Get him in the duels, yeah. <laughs> uh, you heard him, General Murray. Yeah, and what I'm doing, <clears throat> what I'm doing in the duel, in the duels. Hey, Rich. Welcome, my friend. Yes. Yeah, yes, two guys two guys rocks. Rocks. So Beaches Union just the stealing all the Confederate guns. That seems to be what they're here to do. Alright, so they see guys in the rocks here. They want to come get them. Sergeant Nobody and Major Skeletor. Well, they got one of them. Whoa, there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go back, go back. 
back, go back. Yeah, they cleared him out. So there's a lot of Confederates over in this direction. They seem to be heading toward the first New Jersey. Twentieth New York, Second Corps. Here they come. First New Jersey coming out of the woods. Trying not to take their heel off the Confederate throat. Oh, but here comes a large Confederate force under the 69th, charging into the first New Jersey. And King Virus better get out of there with that flag while he can. So you see the Jersey boys running out of the woods with the whole Confederate army on their tail. Here they come. Woo! That gray wave. Jesus. That's a whole lot of Confederacy coming your way, Yankee. You better run. Private, don't stop. They're still coming. King Virus, you better run for that flag. They're coming after you, boy. You see the flag bears trying to get out of there. Confederacy holding back a little bit. But they got people coming in behind them. More and more Confederates. Look at this. Major Hot Cocoa. So the Confederates have been successful on the Yankee left flank. They've pushed them completely out. Looks like if they stay together as one group, they have a lot more success here. And so far, so good. Yeah, the rebel flag was leading the charge. That's funny. But the Yankees are taking that point of contention now. That blue line is coming this way, and the Confederates are breaking. That means now the Union can make this a real short fight. If they choose to take that point now, they can win this battle. You see Brigadier General Murray, the madman with the pistol trying to get everybody to the point as quickly as possible. The Confederates have to come, and they're coming this way as well. The whole damn Confederate army, they better be quick. This thing's almost over. And that's it. A Union victory. Wow. Talk about a tactical victory. That was pretty impressive, what they did there. They drew the whole Confederate army away from the point of contention, killed enough of them to get them breaking, and then stole the point away with 20 minutes left to go in the match. An incredible battle. So congratulations to everybody that fought tonight, especially the Union Army, for their victory. If you like that, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Uh, we do this every week. Until next time, my name's Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.